Hi everyone, I'm Ray Crawford. One more for Kentucky, another test for Texas, and a look at the Big Ten. We're going to cover all of that with our coach Digger Phelps. And Digger, one more to go for the Wildcats to become just the third team since 2000 to run the table during their regular season. Do you expect them to be 31-0 after the fa they face Florida Saturday? Absolutely, and so is John Calipari. He's not going to let this team lose to Florida at home. They already beat Florida on the road back when it was 68-61. What was amazing about that game, the difference maker, Florida goes 7 for 14 shooting free throws at home. Kentucky went 21 for 22, so Kentucky was a plus 14 in that game. Plus, Kentucky beat Florida up with their sides on the glass, controlling the boards 33 to 20. And then you take a look at Towns and Coley Stein. They combined for 32 points. I really think Calipari knows, hey, Florida's coming in here. They got nothing to lose and everything to gain, but we're going to stay focused. Texas survived against Baylor. Now they wrap up the regular season against Kansas State. What does this game mean for the Longhorns? It means everything. I, I just really feel now that Rick Barnes knocking off Baylor at home in overtime. Isaiah Taylor, to me, is the X factor. If you're going to get an NCAA bid, get this win, and that gives you two big wins in a row. And put yourself in a position to get in the Big 12 Conference Tournament and win two games there and keep moving forward. I just feel with their front line, Cameron Ridley and Jonathan Holmes, they've got the size, they should control the boards, they can score points in the paint if they shoot less threes, and I really think Isaiah Taylor is due for one of those games where he gets his 20 points, saying his uh, uh, Eight assists, ten assists, and that's is where Texas dominates this game. To get ready for the Big 12 Conference Tournament to get an NCAA bid. All right, smart scheduling here. Number 23, Ohio State hosts sixth-ranked Wisconsin. How do you see this game playing out in Columbus? Well, don't forget, last week Wisconsin lost that Maryland. I mean, what? Yeah, they lost that Maryland. But more importantly, Ohio State knows this. If we knock off Wisconsin, hey, that puts us in a good seat for the Big Ten Conference Tournament and then get a good seat for the NCAA Tournament. It's going down to two players. The seven-footer, Frank Kaminsky, getting his points inside, outside, controlling the glass, blocking shots. Or is it going to be D'Angelo Russell, who had 28 points against Penn State, made five for eight threes. It's going to be a battle of the guard or the big guy. It's going to be a classic. Should be a great game. Looking forward to those two uh, heavyweights in the college game going at it. We're finishing the regular season strong, aren't we, Digger? Thanks very much. Thank you, Ray. We'll see what happens this weekend. That's right. The Mountain West has put on quite a show this season. From San Diego to Boise, Fort Collins to the Hawaiian Islands, we bring you the Conference Awards here on Campus Insiders.